Yeah, this is Srikant Nalgarla. Please subscribe and share. Yes, and today we'll start a discussion. Static, non-static. We'll start the discussion today. Right. See here. Before starting the static, non-static, you need to understand. In this world, every object belongs to one category. Category is nothing but class. Every class having some objects. That every object having some properties and some actions means that can do the some actions also. So, coming to the here, one of the example. This is I'm giving one person. This is a another person. This is a one another person. These three persons, these three objects, belongs to one category. That is we are calling as a boy. So category is nothing but class we are calling. Like that, in this world, every object belongs to one category. How we are discussing these three objects? belongs to one category that is we are calling as a boy this category we are calling as a class we are calling so in this class many objects are available in this class many objects are available in same manner you can take any object in this world belongs to that belongs to one category category is nothing but class for example i will give the one mass example we have the laptop okay and we have the desktop and this is belongs to which category computer category means computer is nothing but class we are called in same manner here we can go for the some other uh, we can go for some other uh, general example we have the ceiling fan we have the table fan we have the exist fan these Three objects belongs to fan category. Fan is nothing but class we are calling. So like that, in this world, every object belongs to one category. Category is nothing but class we are calling. So every class having many objects. Each and every object having some variables and it can do the some action. For example, in boy class, in boy class, this is one object, this is one object, this is one object. And every object having some properties, every object having some variables. And that object can perform some action. For example, this is a, one of the object having the variables. Number of hands and his name and his surname. And number of eyes like that so many variables available in this object same manner this object can do the action also like this object can sleep can eat can speak like that so many actions it can do also so in any class so many objects is available Every object having some properties means some variables and it can do the some action also. So, actions we are calling as a function or method and properties we are calling as a variable we are calling. So, in one class having so many objects that all the objects having the so many properties and all it can do the some actions. Properties we are calling as a variable and actions we are calling as a method or function we are calling. And if you come into the one class, many objects is it? Each and every object having common properties, common actions it can do. That we are calling as a static variable, static methods we are calling. Once again, what is a static variable, static method? In one class, so many objects are available. Each and every object having common properties, common actions it can do. That we are calling as a static variables, 
static methods we are calling. What is a non-static variable, non-static method? In one class, every object to object, that properties will be different. It can do the action also different. Every object to object in one class. The property is different for object to object. Actions are also different for every object to object. This we are calling as a non-static variables, non-static methods we are calling. Once again, in this world, if you take any object, belongs to one category. Category is nothing but class we are calling. And every class having so many objects. In that objects, all objects in one class having the common variables, common actions it can perform. That we are calling as a static variables, static methods we are calling. Same manner, in one class, so many objects is there. But every object to object variables are different. Every object to object, it can do the action is different. This is we are calling as a non-static. This is we are calling as a non-static we are calling. Non-static variable, non-static method we are calling. So, this is we can understand common Properties means common variables, common action in one class, every object to object. That we are calling as a static. Every object to object different for action and properties. That we are calling as a non-static variable, non-static methods we are calling. For example, I will give you one example here. What is a static, non-static? See, this is one person. This means one object. One object, one object. These three objects belongs to one category. That is we are calling as a boy category. Means that is a class. Okay, fine. In this boy category, having the static information, non-static information. Coming to the static information. Object to object, it will be common. And non-static information. It will be different for every object to object. Coming to the here, what is a static variable? Static variables. That we are giving the first one is every object to object that will be same, that will be common. So, number of hands is a common for object to object in this class. Number of eyes. This is a common for object to object. This is we are calling as a static variables we are calling. Same manner. The static methods or functions we are calling. In this okay situation, what is a static method means? If in one class, many objects is there. Every object to object actions will be common. Actions will be same. For example, uh, we are calling as a, a sleeping. This is an action. Every object can do the act, same action. Eating. This is also same. So these type of actions we are calling as a static method. Static method we are calling. So once again I can go for that. What is a static variable and what is a static method? In one category, means one class, so many objects is there. Every object, so many objects is there. Every object having the common information, every object having the common information, and every object can do the common action that we are calling as a static variables we are calling common properties. And uh, Common actions we are calling is a static methods we are calling. Same manner. Coming to the here. Non-static variables. This is object to object different. For example, 
in one class these three objects having the name is different object to object name is different object to object surname also different this is we are calling as a non static variables same manner non static method we are calling what is the non static method here object to object it can do the different actions in one class for example study is a different for each and every object interested game is a different for each and every object so this is we are calling as a non static variables non static methods we are calling once again i am repeating what is a static what is a non static in one class having so many objects every object having common information means common variables and these all the objects can perform same type of action that variables that actions we are calling as a static variable static methods we are calling same manner in one class many objects available every object to object that variables are different actions are different that we are calling as a non static variable non static method we are calling that we are giving example these three objects having the common information in the boy class what is that number of hands is common number of eyes is common the sleeping and eating is common this is we are calling as a static information we are calling coming to the non static information object to object that information will be different means every object to object name is different surname is different same manner these three object to object can do the perform different study is a different and interested game is a different so this is we are calling as a non static variables non static method we are calling once again i am repeating starting on words in this world every object is belongs to one category category is nothing but class every class having so many objects each and every object having some properties and it can do the action properties we are calling as a variables actions we are calling as a method so one class many objects are available every object to object that variables are common that action also common that we are calling as a static variables static method for example in this boy category three objects common things number of hands number of eyes and these three objects can do the common action sleeping eating this is we are calling as a static methods static variables we are calling coming to the non static in one class in boy class these three objects is there and these three object to object variables are different and these three objects can perform different also so that variables we are calling as a non static variables that actions we are calling as a non static methods we are calling now you are understanding clearly what is a static what is a non static very simply we can call static common information in one class all the objects we are calling as a static different information for each and every object in one class that we are calling as a non static okay we are declaring uh, we are understanding very clearly what is a static what is a non static now this is same example i can start the creating programmatically how we can declare the class inside the class how we can declare the static information how we can declare the non static information this we can start the discussion here i'm coming to the eclipse i'm creating one class what is my class name is a boy my class name is boy 
So I am creating already here boy class. So this is we are calling as a boy. I am creating public class. Class name is boy. How to create this class? And you can go further here. This is we are calling as our project. Already we have discussed. Right click on this package. Select the new. Click on the class. Enter the class name. And select the public static void main. And click on the finish button. And it will be created one class. This is we are calling as a class. Now. I want to start the declaring the static variable static method. And if you want to declare the static variable number of hands, what if you can store the value? Integer value. So integer. Now, if you want to declare this variable as a static, now you can declare as a static keyword. Then access modifier you are giving the public. So this is a we can declare the any static variable. If you mention static keyword that we are calling as a static variable we are calling. Same manner number of hands variable name. This variable we can store the value integer value. This variable we can declare as a static so static keyword. Now we can declare access modifier as a public. Like that we can declare any static variable. This is the syntax. Coming to the static methods this is a method name and now we can write the void what is the meaning of void if you write in the method that the method cannot return any value that is the meaning of void inside means in method you are mentioning the void that method cannot return any value this is the meaning of if you place the void Okay, in this method, if you use the static, now we are using, now we are calling as a static method, we are calling. Public, static, void, method name. And this is a braces we are using. And this is the open braces of that, ending braces of that. What action we are planning to perform that you can write the logic here. I am simply printing statement I can return here. Same manner, static variable, very static method. Static method name eating. I'm writing the void. It cannot return a new value. Static keyword because of static method. And I can write the access modifier. This is a open braces, close braces. Same manner. This is we are calling as a system dot out dot printer and printing statement I return. This is we are calling as a static information we are declaring. Coming to the non-static information. Variable name. This variable we can store the what type of data string bunch of characters. Now this is a non static so we can remove that static keyword. We are not written anything static. That only we are calling as a non static we are calling. So public string and surname. This is we are calling as a variable we are calling. This is we are calling as a non static variable we are calling. This we are calling as a non static variable. No, and methods and syntax will be different. This is we are calling as a syntax of method. This is we are calling as a variable. For example, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah, you can go for the mute. I'll tell you. Yes, I'll tell you. And yeah, keep in mute. Yeah, right. Now coming to the here, what is a variable syntax? Very simple. Variable name end with the colon and this is we are calling as a data type and you are declaring as a static so you can use the static keyword and this is we are calling as a access modifier we are calling. So this is a syntax to declaring the static variable. What is the static variable? First of all, variable name. And then I can go for the data type. After the static, I can give the keyword. Then I can go for the access modifier. This is we are calling as a 
syntax for the static variable we are declaring and what is the new we are adding to declaring the variable means static keyword if you add the static keyword that we are calling as a static variable we are calling okay fine and whenever we can follow this syntax and we can declare the static variable like this this is a variable name and with colon in this variable what type of data we can store this is we are calling as a integer and this variable we can consider as a static so i can give the static keyword access modifier as you like you can go for the access modifier anything like public private default protected like this we need to mention same manner static variable we can declare another one also coming to the methods this is different method name means function name this is a syntax for brackets don't end with this colon okay function name brackets here you can write the after writing the function name you can write here void otherwise data type you can write it you can write the void otherwise you can write the data type if you write the void that method cannot return any value that method cannot return any value but if you write the data type what happened later we will discuss right now no need to go for here just you are using void means that method cannot return any value okay you are planning to declare this method as a static so i can give the static keyword here and then i can give the access modifier and this method open braces close braces in between whatever the logic in between whatever the logic yeah in between whatever the logic we can go for that yes that all whatever the logic we are written here see this is we can go for the syntax whatever we are written that all the syntax okay so we can follow and we can declare the method and whatever the logic we are written that logic related actions it can perform so this is we are calling as a method this is we are calling as a syntax of the method once again what is a syntax of the method i'll go for the here what is the syntax of the method all right and coming to the here what is the syntax of the method means see this is we can go for that right now coming to the here what is the syntax of the method very clearly this we are calling as a function name braces brackets this we can write the void and you can write the data type and now we can write the static keyword and now we can write the access modifier after that you can go for here open braces close braces in between you can write anything actions that can perform the particular task this is we are calling as a method okay fine so method name you can write the void that cannot return any value static and access modifier for example if you remove this static that we are calling as a non static method we are calling if you remove that static that we are calling as a non static method for example if you coming to here if you coming to here our class i am declaring the static variable this we are calling as a method name and this is a void it. it cannot return any value static keyword and this is a public access modifier open braces close braces in between you can write any logic just i am declaring the uh, printing statement only i have written same manner another variable we can another method we are calling we are declaring static method and same manner procedure we can move over but coming to the non static to declare the non static variable just so remove the keyword static keyword you can remove that we are calling as a 
non static variable we are calling same manner static keyword you need to remove in the method also that is we are calling as a non static method we are calling see this manner i can declare the static information non static information once again here what is the non static information if you not mention static keyword that is we are calling as a non static variable non static method remaining all syntax will be same only for static and non static see here just we are not mention any static keyword that is only we are calling as a static variable same manner static method we are calling sorry non static method we are calling we are removing the static keyword so this is we are calling as a non static method we are calling okay we are declaring static information non static information in one class but how it will be useful for us and what is the next process we are using this static information non static information for example coming to the here whenever we are going for the static information and non static information if you coming to the here one class all the information we are declaring static non static static non static stat all the information we are declared in the one class this static information this non static information i want to access into the some other class how we can access the static information how we can access the non static information this is we will go for the here first what we are going for here first we are declaring the static information non static information in the one class that information we can access into the another class so to access the static information what is the syntax to access the non static information what is the syntax that we will discuss here first static information accessing the static information first syntax you can access static information one class to another class directly you can write the variable name directly you can write the variable name and you can assign the value and you can access the value also otherwise by using class name dot variable name equal to assign value this is we can go about for example y is a class name dot variable name number of hands equal to 2 this is we are calling as a assign the value static information static variable if you want to access with the help of the class name we can access directly if you want to access the static information you can go for the you can go for the class name you can go for the class name directly class name dot that variable name static variable name you can declare the you can ax you can store the value this is we are calling as a value we can go for that so this is we are calling as a syntax what the class name boy in this boy class i have the static information dot number of hands equal to 2 i can assign the value for the static variable and if you want to access now you can write system dot out dot printer len boy dot number of hands so this can display the 2 like that we can access the static information static method static variable same static variable is same static method also same for example static method class name dot and we are calling as a and method this we are calling as a function name we can write it and this will be ending for example boy dot sleeping we can write it whatever the logic we are written inside the sleep that logic will be implemented into the class so like that one class static information we can access to the some other class what is the syntax means with the class name dot that variable name that method name you can use it 
so this is we are calling as a static information one class to another class we can access like this coming to the non static information if you seek non static information object to object it will be different so we can store it to the different different memory locations so to go for the static information for accessing we can go for the class name this is we are calling as an object name reference new class name brackets end with colon this is we are creating reference this is creating memory so y and b equal to reference name new y so it is creating in the boy class some memory location it will be occupied and declaring occupying the memory location and is giving memory location name is b because of you are giving reference name is b so this memory location is allocating and giving the name is b this is we are calling as a memory allocation this is we are calling that memory reference we are giving and then b dot name and you can write shri khan this is we can write it b dot surname i can write nalagarla like that we can go for that so this is we are calling as a okay non static information if you want to access with help of the class you are creating the reference object and you can create the memory location with the help of that memory with the help of that reference we can store the non static information unique manner because of every object to object that will be different for example another object is it boy b1 equal to new boy class name and this memory location boy class i can create the some other memory location by name is b1 b1 dot name equal to uh, mahesh and b1 dot surname equal to xyz something we can write it and we we'll call it and b1 dot study this is we can go for that so 